And then we're going to talk about this week in Warhammer, because it's, it's another week, and of course there's more Warhammer. Mostly Cities of Sigma. Some kind of cool stuff, actually. Some, some cool models. I say I'm not tempted to buy any of them, but there is, there is one I am tempted to buy. But there's a dilemma to it. I'll, I'll, I'll explain... I'll explain as and when. So we have, of course, the video, which I haven't watched because actually I, I don't want to. We have, of course, the Battle Tome, City of Sigmas. C cities, cities of Sigmas. There are multiple Sigmas now. My apologies. Uh, of course, the special edition with all of your pop-out things. I don't know if those are relevant. But the Slaves to Darkness one with like all the pop-outs and the cards, that was very nice. I did get that one. <sighs> yeah, this one. This one right here. This is the one I have an issue with. Because this is a good guy army, and they're rolling around with a manticore. I was always very much under the impression that manticores were literally created by chaos. Like, it is, it is the warping of these creatures. I have never seen anywhere a manticore being anything other than evil... Or just an animal. I have never seen a good guy manticore. Also, second problem I have with it. Where's the Slaves to Darkness manticore? Very old model. Very ugly. Why is Cities of Sigma getting a new manticore model when the previous manticore model kind of being ignored? Slaves to Darkness need a new manticore. That is the only reason that I would be interested in this manticore. I don't know what to make of this model. It's a person in a chair. I assume some kind of saint or some high matriarch of the Great Wheel. That just sounds like something someone would make up about themselves. Just like, ah, oh, yes, the Great Wheel. I'm, yep, me, I'm in charge of that. Mm hmm. Please carry me around. Uh, we have a free guild cavalier marshal who. Actually, I'm not going to lie, this guy looks pretty badass. I like the look of this dude. I have nothing else to add on that. He just looks. Very, very cool. Free Guild Marshal and a Relic Envoy. Many, many options. Again, some lovely some lovely hats involved. These men don't have hats, so clearly this, this guy's the one who uh, costs the most points and is the most impressive. Uh, we have Cadian Command Squad, but, you know, Age of Sigma, because it's all Age of Sigma. Now, this guy I actually really like. I don't know what he does, and I don't know why he's just carrying his forge around with him, but there is something hardcore about a dude just carrying a burning cauldron to build things as he goes like that's that's kind of boss i like this dude <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> this this guy oh my just 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 oh my fusil major on ogre war hulk this is very much in the same vein as the weird stilt guy skatari thing like the admech stilt man this is very much in that lane. I'm like, this is really, really stupid. Why do I love it? It's it's so dumb, but in kind of an endearing way. I I, I appreciate this one, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's our free geared, bleh, free guild cavaliers, just to prove that GW can make new horsemen. And I mean, again, fancy hat guys. So I mean, maybe they just don't want to make non-fancy hat people anymore. Maybe that's below them. Uh, these guys I actually really like. I feel kind of bad for this dude, but at the same time, it's just like, it's kind of what you signed up for. But no, I like this. I like the whole, like, walking into battle, big shields, and cannons on them. Like, yeah, okay, I, I, I can get behind these guys. I like this idea. Slightly smaller shields, but you know, again, it works. Very nice models. I don't know. I Like, this guy looks way too confident for his own good, in my personal opinion. <laughs> like, the, these guys I all get. Like, presumably he'd stand behind someone, but like, this dude looks like he's just drunk and joined in. So I don't know what his story is, but I feel like he's a little bit underclothed for this particular excursion there on. I don't know. Uh, Iron Weld Cannon. Or Iron Weld Great Cannon. I, again, I like I like this. This is a nice aesthetic. I, I'm enjoying like the weird pseudo castle look that they're putting in their shields. That's actually... I appreciate that. I like this. This is... I like this aesthetic generally. Uh, we are on to the Dawnbringers book, which I assume is just their crusade equivalent. I mean, it literally says crusade multiple times. So it, it appears to just be, hey, look, here's the story moving forward. Enjoy. Uh, special edition version, because of course. Um, if I am remembering correctly, these are the characters from that Warhammer Plus animation. 
Uh, they're heroes from the Warhammer TV show Black Talon, uh, now immortalized as five characterful miniatures. Cool, I guess. I don't have anything to add to that. Awesome. Nice. Cool. Thanks for that. Uh, I'm surprised that these guys are coming out so soon because they didn't reveal them that long ago. So the fact that they've just kind of revealed them and are then just putting them out there. Nice. I like that. This is going to be another one of those it sells out immediately kind of things though it's 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 gonna go people like age of sigmar chaplains people like dragons this is you don't have to be an age of sigmar fan to uh to buy this one mainly you just need to be a scalper um we have bug boys and trees well trees and bug boys there's a lot of tree people here i do like this model like i know roughly how big these guys are so having a decent sense of scale of that guy now is actually pretty cool that's Random character? I don't know if this is like a new guy or someone they've released separately from like a bulk box they did. I have no idea who this is, but I mean, nice fire slayer model. Uh, Harbinger of Decay. This guy, I've seen him around for a long time. There's no way he's new, right? I don't understand. I don't understand. I, I, I am absolutely positive I have seen this being sold before. Ugh. Probably my least favorite thing on the list today, because this feels like not a wasted opportunity, but a bit of a weird thing they did. Like, hey, here's Fulgrim. He's resin, and you can only use him in Horus Heresy. There is no 40k equivalent, despite the fact that we mentioned him in 40k in the latest uh, narrative rounds. So he's definitely in the 40k universe, and eventually... There is going to be Fulcrum in 40k, but you can't you can't use the, this this model. We're going to make a really really expensive model, and then limit it to a single game system for absolutely no benefit to anyone, including themselves. It feels like a silly move to me. Black Talon. Sure, if you didn't watch the TV show then, hey, you can read about it now, I guess. Uh, the Red Gobbo rides again. Christmas book? Like, it's Red Gobbo. There's, there's snow everywhere. Like, might be worth a read. Just just for the giggles, it might be worth a read. Galaxy of Horrors. This is, this is crazy to me. There are 20 short stories featuring 15 authors. And look, my, my personal favorite author, Manny Moore. He's, um, straight face. Manny Moore, he's, uh, he's very good. Very talented writer is Manny Moore. Untamed Realms, Sigma stuff. I'm absolutely not including more reading at this point. I have far too much reading to do as it is, and I am not going anywhere near Age of Sigma because I don't want to get into anything in Age of Sigma in case I find a strand that I really want to follow. And although it has to be said, I like these covers. They're very nice covers. But I really, really, really do not want to add to my already extensive reading list. I really don't. Uh, Elf Slayer. This looks like one of their older stories. Warhammer Chronicles. Like, just based on the picture, that looks like like some crazy 90s art, you know? Uh, Warhammer Plus. Hey, here's... It's these guys. I don't really think much of their uh, their battle reports, from what I've seen, to be totally honest. Just to quickly recap the thoughts. Cities of Sigma, cool stuff. Cool book. Cool model. Should have been chaos. Someone made up a title for themselves, and now they're very important. Dude has no title, but is very clearly very important. Dude has a head in the box. I wouldn't argue with him. Cadian Command Squad, as I said. Uh, soup for the soup god. Okay. <laughs> I've got, I've got nothing. Actual new horse people. That's fun. I don't have any pun for these guys. I just like them. Basic dudes, way too confident. Again, I just like it. It's a nice looking model. It's a book. It's a book. Maybe they're cool. I have no idea. I don't care. Yeah, I like these guys. Hopefully they're more interesting than that new RTS game that they've put out where they just had these guys kind of very boringly walk around the field. It wasn't exciting. Bug people. Well, tree people and bugs. Bug people and trees. Angry gingers. Less ginger. Still angry. Blech. That's all I got on that one. It's nearly Christmas time, don't you know? Books, books, books. Lots of books and stuff. But yeah, this is the, uh... This is the unfortunate thing. 
this is the very unfortunate thing in my personal opinion the warhammer 40k battle forces this box of leagues of votan is almost exactly my wish list for what i want to round out my leagues of votan so that in and of itself is a problem beast nagger boys i'm not i'm not really that into orcs i like i like the idea of orcs take them or leave them kd and defense force that's a lot of dudes and just two big tanks like that's that's a really weird one like I, I feel like they would have had something in between instead it's literally just basic infantry and tanks you know what i mean this is the one that truly upsets me because this is what i actually want i want to have these guys and i want to include all of them in my ravenwing force yes i know ravenwing can't have jump guys but also, there's only one mounted guy that you can have as an HQ outside of some of the special units for Dark Angels. I'm really, really tempted to just include all of these guys in a Ravenwing Force because I think it would be cool. Obviously, these guys fit. These, these two here, like the Mario Kart back here, fits quite well. I know that these guys, lore-wise, can't go in, but I kind of just want a rule of call it because I do think it would be cool to include jump packs. Uh, we have the Onslaught Swarm, which appears to just be 20 Hormigants. 10 Gene Stealers, I'm gonna say. I can't actually see them all properly because they're blurring for me. I don't know if that's just me or the picture. Uh, Hive Tyrant, Emissary, or is that Emissary the other one? What's the other one called? You've got the Norm em Emissary and the Norn something. I've completely blanked on it. But I assume that you can just that this guy comes with all the pieces to have any of them. So you can have the Flying Hive Tyrant, Standard Hive Tyrant, Swarm Lord. That's cool. I like the Swarm Lord. This one, very, very simple, but I kind of appreciate its simplicity. Angron, bunch of eight bound, bunch of corn berserkers, ba-boom, go. Get the combat patrol. You have a complete and pretty f big army. I like it. It's a very simple box. But yes, that's 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 my sadness and my misery for this week in Warhammer. Or this week in the box. I don't know. This week in Warhammer, I am very sad because it all costs a lot. It all... It all costs a lot.